Hi folks, this is Meredith from the Papery Craftery and today I'm going to be sharing a pretty short video, sort of different than usual. We're going to be talking about how to organize quilling paper strips. I don't know what's been going on, but I've gotten this question like three or four times in the last couple of weeks, so I thought I'd just go over some really quick ideas about how to organize your strips. This is exactly what I do. I have two boxes. They're just photo boxes. I think I got them from Michaels. I have mine split up by color. It's kind of hard to read my little labels there, but you work with what you got. I have some that have, this one is reds and purples and blues, a little bit of whites in there, and they fit exactly long ways. I buy my quilling paper strips mostly from two different companies, Craft Harbor Paper or Quilled Creations. Two different size strips, but more or less the same size packaging. And you can see I have them all laid out by color and they fit right in there. This one is similar, but different colors. I have my browns, my yellows, my oranges, greens, metallics I think are in this one. Again, whites, I buy a lot of white for some reason. I always think I run out of white and I just keep grabbing more. But that's honestly what I do. Super fast, super easy. They fit right in there and that's all there is to it. When I get a new pack of Quilled Creations, it's hard to reseal these. Quilled, uh, sorry, Craft Harbor, you can reseal the bag so the paper doesn't fall out. Quilled Creations, not so much. What I do when I get a new bag of strips and then I start using them, I cut off the top, I cut off the paper part, snip it right across, and then all I do is write the uh, color paper on there. I also write QC, even though by this point I know what they are by looking at them. QC for Quilt Creations and then the color. I never remember, once I start running out, I know what I need to order again. And then I can just pull out either one strip at a time or even I can pull out the whole shebang and then it slides right back in the bag. That's it for me. Um, Honestly, organization is not my specialty in life. You could ask my husband, he would think that's hilarious that people ask me how to organize things. So this is the system that works for me. Um, this is most of my quilling paper. I do have a few other little piles hanging out, either stuff I'm working on or different brands that are maybe different sizes, wider strips and more narrow strips. But this is how I organize my standard 1 8 inch strips of quilling paper that I use on a regular basis. But sometimes that might not work for you. You might be looking for something different. So I thought I'd share a few other ideas that I've run across uh, in my time uh, using quilling paper. One of those ideas is grabbing a three ring binder and they sell a lot of different types of inserts that you could help you organize your paper. One is something like this. This is a big envelope essentially it's clear and oh, if I could open it there we go you can slide paper right in there either by the pack or by just the strip this idea works well for those who maybe cut their own strips because they tend to be a little bit shorter you can just slide them right in there there's a whole bunch you can see what you got easy peasy you could also use color coordinated kind of folders like this one. Again, you can just slide your strips in there. If you cut your own, they wouldn't be this long probably. And then you can just put them in your binder and you'd have everything in one place. Here is a whole pack of those type of um, folders and these ones have different colors. So you could, let's say, just put your yellow in your yellow and your orange in your orange. And if that might work for you, it's pretty inexpensive and pretty easy to find. Another idea, uh, let's say you are buying pre-cut strips and you really don't like the the kind of bend that they get in them. You know, they, they do straighten out. It's not going to affect your quilling, but some people prefer them to start laying flat. Grab some binder clips, cramp them right on the end. If you hang them, they'll start straightening out a little bit. It holds a whole bunch at one time. Again, binder clips are pretty inexpensive. You can do these 
just by one and then you can maybe hang them on a little hook or like a pegboard type thing so you can see everything you have right in front of you. You could string a whole bunch of different colors together, maybe put them on like a string or on like a metal loop or something and you could just flip through what you have. That is specifically an idea if you don't like the little crimp in them. Um, if you don't mind that, both brands that I showed earlier do have a hole here. You can put the bags right on a loop or a piece of string or, or pegs or something like that and you can see exactly what you have, again, without having to take them all out of the bags if you don't mind the bends. Totally up to you. Last couple of ideas I have for the more eco-friendly crowd. If you want to reuse things around your house, um, I didn't have any empty tubes here, but let's say you gather a whole bunch of paper towel tubes. You can lay your strips right in there. You can stand them up or lay them down, maybe glue and stack a whole bunch together. Strips slide right in there, super organized. Maybe you just have a few colors left over. This is what I do when I just have some random strips lying around and I need to tidy up, throw them right into an old glass jar. This jar sits on my workstation. Easy cleanup, takes no time. Everything gets thrown in there. Bing, bang, boom. That's all you have. Like I said, this is just some quick and easy ways to organize your quilling strips. I know there would be millions of other ideas out there and I would love to hear those ideas. If you do something different to organize your quilling paper strips, please leave comments down below in the, uh, the comment section of this video so that everybody can hear your amazing ideas and be inspired and maybe start something new in their, their craft stash. That would be awesome to hear what you have. As always, I will leave links to anything you might need in the description box of this video and the other videos I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified when I release my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.